Hello guys, Croft is here. Today we'll finally answer the question of whether the humanoid beings on Planet 4 are engineers or not. The inhabitants of Planet 4 have been the subject of debate for years, however, Ridley Scott seems to have finally explained who they are. In one rare interview that took me a while to find, Ridley Scott said that he views engineers as gardeners of space. He also said that in the next movie there will be at least four different players who will come in to investigate, and one of which will be the engineers arriving to find the planet decimated by David. There will be three or four different players coming in to investigate, one of which will be the engineers arriving back to find that planet decimated. This implies that the inhabitants of Planet 4 are not the original engineers, but rather a colony just like Earth created by the actual engineers. In this interview, Ridley Scott confirmed that engineers are not all dead, and although he didn't exactly say that Planet 4 is a colony, after examining all the evidence and various clues, I found a concrete and definitive answer about who these beings are, and how they relate to the engineers at the beginning of Prometheus and the last engineer on LV-223. So could these humanoids on Planet 4 be the original engineers? One theory suggests that the reason these beings appear more primitive compared to the engineers in Prometheus is that their society has regressed, causing them to forget the advanced technology that they once had. The engineer on LV-223 was in cryosleep for 2000 years, so it's possible that during that time other engineers on their home planet lost all their technology. This might have occurred because the outbreak on LV-223 wiped out all the scientists in the engineer society. So this theory suggests that the beings on Planet 4 are engineers, but their civilization has dramatically regressed, much like what occurred in Europe following the fall of Rome during the Dark Ages. While this theory seems plausible, it is not accurate. Numerous clues indicate that the beings on Planet 4 are not engineers, and the planet itself is not the engineer homeworld, so let's go over the evidence. At the end of Prometheus, David mentions that the engineer comes from a planet referred to as paradise in many ancient Earth cultures. Several of your ancient cultures had a word similar to it. Paradise. Then Prometheus concluded with David and Shaw setting out for the engineer's paradise planet, a journey which became a highly anticipated aspect of Alien Covenant. Alien Covenant was initially promoted with emphasis on David and Shaw reaching the Engineer homeworld, and given the fact that the initial title for the movie was Paradise Lost, many believe that these humanoid beings on Planet 4 are engineers. However, they're not, and let's explore the reasons why. The primary similarity between Planet 4 inhabitants and the engineers is their pale white skin and complete lack of hair. But this is where their similarities end, and in fact, they exhibit many more differences. The eyes of the original engineers are entirely pitch black, but upon closer inspection, the beings on Planet 4 have human-like eyes. They are also much shorter than the engineers in Prometheus. In the scene where David traverses the Colosseum, we observe the bodies of Planet 4 inhabitants. They are quite short, possibly even shorter than humans. This sharply contrasts with the towering height of the engineers, who stand at least 8 feet tall, further implying that the inhabitants of Planet 4 differ significantly from the original engineers. In addition, the beings on Planet 4 appear to be technologically inferior compared to the engineers in Prometheus. They dress in simple robes, looking like peasants, a stark deviation from the technologically advanced appearance and proficiency with machinery exhibited by the engineers in Prometheus. On top of that, a deleted scene from Alien Covenant shows that other juggernaut ships were stored beneath the docking platform on Planet 4. So although the residents of Planet 4 had access to juggernauts, they seemed unfamiliar with their functions and lack any knowledge on how to pilot them. Another point of evidence is that the design of the city appears ancient, with the juggernaut docking station standing out due to its different design, hinting that, that it might not be native to the planet. 
The city's architecture resembles Roman style, featuring a grand stadium and relatively simple buildings. These structures lack the Geiger-style designs consistently present in Juggernaut's and Xenomorph artworks. So by comparing the docking station to the rest of the city, the architectural disparity between the engineer's structures and those on Planet 4 becomes especially evident. All this evidence points towards the likelihood that the beings on Planet 4 are a colony that the engineers created and used to frequently visit. The joyful reception of David's juggernaut suggests that they might have been waiting for the return of their celestial creators, the engineers, for quite some time. However, another theory seems to challenge this straightforward conclusion. The inhabitants of Planet 4 wear robes reminiscent of those worn by the engineers at the beginning of Prometheus, hinting that they might belong to the same group. Since we don't have a clear reference to determine the height of the engineers from the deleted opening scene in Prometheus, this theory proposes that they might have been shorter than the last engineer on LV-223, being similar in height to both humans and beings on Planet 4. This idea introduces the possibility of distinct engineer factions. One faction might be more religiously inclined, dressing in robes and building stone cities like the one in Alien Covenant. In contrast, the group on LV-223 might be a scientific faction, driven by a quest to unlock the secrets of the universe through science and biotechnology, even enhancing their height with genetic engineering. However, this theory is also incorrect. The engineers in the deleted opening scene of Prometheus are not the same as those on Planet 4, and there are multiple clues to support this. The sacrificial engineer had pitch black eyes, which is a notable contrast to the beings on Planet 4. Furthermore, even if this particular engineer was genetically designed to be perfect with pitch black eyes, all the other engineers in the scene also possessed completely black eyes. Additionally, the sacrificial engineer lacked nipples, while the beings on Planet 4 clearly had them, as can be observed from the sketches made by David. It's also worth noting that the group of engineers in Prometheus did not include any females, which is consistent with the hologram on LV-223. However, female figures are distinctly visible on Planet 4. All these clues strongly suggest that the inhabitants of Planet 4 are different from all engineers we encountered in Prometheus, leading us to believe that they are likely a colony similar to Earth created by the actual engineers. Prometheus strongly hinted that David and Shaw would arrive to the true engineer homeworld. However, due to significant critique of the movie upon its release, Alien Covenant chose a different path, postponing the visit to the Paradise Planet for future films. After Alien Covenant was released, Ridley Scott mentioned that in the upcoming movie, David would go to the planet, strongly suggesting that after having created this deadly organism, David would now target the actual engineer homeworld. It's uncertain if this movie will ever be made, as the studio now seems to be exploring a new direction with Alien Romulus. Nevertheless, Ridley Scott might revisit David's storyline in the future, especially if Romulus proves to be successful. Thank you guys for watching, like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel for more Alien content. My name is Croft, and I'll see you in the next video.